Alright, I am in a good mood today because my solar electric system is finally done. I just received my charge controller today. Right there. Just going to walk you through pretty much what I've done here and how this is going to fit into my preps. <clears throat> so as you've seen in my other videos, I have my solar powered Christmas lights around the top. It's a good uh, area light. Very bright. There's a solar panel. Well, I'm going to lower these shades a bit. Maybe we won't get so much glare. There we go. Alright, but that was the solar panel back there for the Christmas lights. And then here I have four 20 watt panels at 12 volts DC a piece. And I have them all wired in parallel, and that gives me 80 watts at 12 volts DC, or about 4.5 amps at 12 volts DC. <clears throat> and then I have them all wired together in parallel. Um, yeah, my wiring's not very clean. Uh, that's old. Uh, that's old wiring from Christmas light strings. Uh, we're switching over to LEDs as much as we can, and there's. There isn't much you can do with the old strings other than throw them away. So instead of throwing away, I just I took a few of the really long ones and cut them up and uh, took all the wire from them to wire all the solar panels up. And I have some heavier duty cable coming down. On the positive side, I have a 5 amp fuse right there. And that goes up. And uh, where those um, whitish, grayish cables go, and that's uh, those are the solar panels. And those cables coming down and going into the box here, these, those go to my battery, which I have shown before. And then I also hooked up to this and had something for a load right there. And that's where I have the cigarette lighter, the cigarette lighter adapter. And the nice thing about this is, here I have this old... Um, this is an old analog phone from like the late 90s. I have that plugged in just for testing. Uh, it's turned off right now, but the nice thing about this, this charge controller is I can turn on and off the load. So I press that button, that light's on, listen for the phone, it'll beep. There it goes, and it's charging. So that's a very nice feature, I can completely Control, turn that back off now. There we go. So I can completely control whatever is on that uh, cigarette lighter adapter. And that is very good. Because, uh, like right now, I would want it off. Because uh, it's a cloudy day out, so I'm really not pulling in anything. Now, the nice thing about this charge controller is, even though it's not MPPT, uh, it seems to still be charging the batteries, even with the... Uh, amount of juice coming in. I'm probably getting only a couple of watts, but as long as the voltage is high enough, it, it's still power in the batteries. Uh, so this is the box for my charge controller. It's an HQRP uh, 10 amp charge controller. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it automatically decides whether you have... See, it's, 12 or 24 automatic operation, so I could use it either with a 12 volt or 24 volt system, uh, which is very nice because that means I can uh, upgrade my panels and battery uh, without having to worry too much about the charge controller. That's a very simple, uh, it was $34 on Amazon uh, HQRP. And it came with a uh, drink coaster too. <laughs> I don't know why, but. So uh, it, it had uh, no negative reviews and uh, had positive reviews on Amazon and uh, so far it's working. It's pulling down plenty of juice from uh, whatever's going on here. It's just cloudy out. Uh, we, they say we have some sort of freezing rainstorm or something coming in, so it's just cloudy out. But I'm just barely pulling in a little bit of juice and uh, yeah, coaster. <laughs> it's a little company gift or whatever, I guess. Alright. Uh, let's move this off here. Because I did a little more work in here. Uh, yeah, I've tried. I can run the DVD player through my charge controller's load socket. Uh, I can run my inverter. 
and I'll go through some of that later. A uh, charger for the camera I could run. Alright. Um, whoops. Let me prop this up. There we go. Just a PVC pipe. Prop it up. Car hood or something. I, I've shown the wiring before that goes up to my um, to the outlet in the closet for the router and modem. Um, instead, I decided against using electrical tape here. I actually used nice big wire nuts for it because that splits. I have the it's plugged into the inverter on the side. That splits. And then that wire. It's this one goes up into there and then this wire, the gray one, goes to the outlet that's mounted in the box. There it is. And then the other wire goes off to my, uh, what do you call it? Um, closet, yeah, the outlet in there. And then I have the wires from the charge controller coming down like that. So, um, let's see what else is there. Uh, I'll I'll shut down the camera later and just show you some of the stuff running off the system. But I'm, I'm very happy with it so far. I can't, I can't believe it's pulling down any juice right now, because uh, it's dim outside. So anyway, here's my outlet. This is only inverter power. This is not hooked up to the grid whatsoever. This is just the solar inverter setup. And also, if I wanted, I could uh, run an extension cord up to the window from the Jenny. Uh, if that's if we ever are running that, then plug the cord right into that. I still need to do a video on the Jenny sometime. All right, time's good. And so, just an outlet here. And the major key of this is I can. Oh, uh, where's that plug in? Not right here. This is where everything in the closet is plugged in right now. So I just unplug this black plug, plug it into here, turn on the inverter, and we're good. Don't need to run extension cords everywhere or anything. Uh, so that's nice and that way we'd have assuming the internet is still up we'd have internet uh, that'd probably be one of the first things I'd check if the power went out is if we had internet and uh, right now we have it but so that that'd probably be the first thing I'd do I'm thinking also of uh, along the sides here starting to stock up some food and water along the sides of these computers maybe clean out some of the junk some of the junk in there is I collect these vintage computers, Apple IIe, but there's plenty of room along the sides that I don't use. So that's that. But I guess I could also plug in a light. I have my fluorescent light up there. Could run that cord down here to that outlet. That'd be a good place to plug in an overhead light. So that's that. So what I'm probably going to do now is I'm going to... Uh, don't even ask about the box of pencils. Uh, probably a video for another time. I'm going to just pause the camera here and I'll show a few things running off this system. Uh, I haven't tested it to its uh, fullest extent yet. Um, I don't know exactly how or when I'll do that. Maybe plug in a refrigerator or something. See how long it lasts uh, on a sunny day. So I'm just going to uh, show a few things. Uh, I still need to mount. Excuse me. I still need to mount the inverter there. Um, that's more of a backup, though, because this thing has a built-in 1,000 watts, and I'd highly doubt I'd ever be using up to 1,000 watts unless it's a very bad situation and I actually have to run the refrigerator or something. So I'll just pause this here, and I'll show a few things running. All right, I'm just going to show a few things here. First, I want to unplug my lamp from the wall here so I can try that out. Uh, lighting, I think, is going to be one of the... Uh, there's a couple big uses for this, probably three main uses. Uh, first, number one is always lighting. Uh, I can run extension cords around, and we can have some... Obviously, never use incandescence on a system like this. Always uh, CFLs or LEDs. Uh, they use such a small amount of power, you'll barely tax your system at all. And that's what you want. All right, then, as long as I'm still pulling down a little bit of uh, solar energy... I'll go over here, unplug this uh, piece of junk cell phone that works. Okay, let's start with this. Just seeing what I can do here. And 